I'll get these. Oh, no, sorry, I've got money out. Hey, make the most of it, Gwen. You won't be yourself, Natalie. Well, somebody else in a good mood, I think. Uh, listen, um, what do you reckon? Dinner at my place on Sunday. Oh, are you doing the cooking? Oh, I cook and eat and sing and dance, and if you like, you just have to show up, you know? Uh, you didn't say anything about the washing up? Oh, well, fair play. I'll do that as well, eh? All right, then. You're on. Sunday you tea. Yeah. There you go, Jim, and thank you very much. Oh, thank you. What are you doing on Sunday, then? Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling I'm just to find out, then. Right, well, look, I've asked Gwen around, so I have. All oh, right, and you want me to uh, make myself scarce? Well, you wouldn't normally be in, would you? Eh? I'm just giving you advance notice. Why well, don't matter anyway, because I'd rather not be there. Hey, Michael's woman, eh? One goes out the front door and the other one comes in the back. Mm. It's the sound of those 50 pound notes straining on the seam of his wallet. Yeah. There's no hope for me then, is there? Why? You're not still seeing Gwen? Oh, I am indeed. I mustn't complain. I'm seeing her the night as it goes. Well, then. Well, I'll tell you what, Kevin. I'm not out of practice. I think I've lost a knack of being with a woman. <laughs> well, I know what you mean. I think it's because I wanted to work so badly I'm in a danger of pushing it too far or something like that. Yeah, well, just take your time, Jim. Don't rush through the gears. <laughs> I'll think about that. Oh, what are we having? We're having coq au vin extraordinaire. Ooh, very posh. Not really. It's chicken casserole, you and me. Just throw it in the oven and wait, you know. Paraplegic? Yeah. Ah, oh, don't worry. It's nothing I had a... I had an accident a couple of years ago, you know? Yeah, I heard something about that. Yeah, I was in a wheelchair for a while, so I was. Can't have been easy. Was Liz still around? She was indeed, and she was a real trooper to start with. Then she ran off with me physio. What? <laughs> oh, aye. He gave me my body back and then took away the reason for giving it back. <laughs> I believe they're getting married soon. That's terrible. No, not really. Me and Liz were coming to the end of things, you know what I mean? It was probably for the best. It must still hurt. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't really think about it, eh? I'm happy now. Cheers. So, do you still see your wee lad? <laughs> He's not so wee. He's in the army, just like his dad. Is he? Is he enjoying it? Yeah, he loves it. He's made a real man of him. But he's not lost that sensitive side either. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, the army's dead on, isn't it? It's great, but I suppose it can toughen you up too much sometimes, you know? Oh, I'm glad you think that, Jim. Well, I mean, you lived in a base, didn't you? You must have seen some fights at chucking out time, eh? <laughs> After all, we were known to go over the top on occasions. Yeah, I saw it a damn sight closer to home than base. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Look, I'm sorry. I didn't want to talk about this like that. No, no, no. Laurie hit you? Yeah. I see. That's why I left him. So, now you know, violence is a terrible thing to live with. Yeah, it must be. You feel angry, humiliated. You even blame yourself for provoking it. That must have been awful for you. It was. I don't ever want to get involved with a violent man again. Not ever. That's for sure. Anyway, that's my big secret off my chest. What's yours? Pardon? I'm only joking. It's what people do, innit, when they meet. Tell each other things. Warn them what they're letting themselves in for. Yeah, I suppose so. It was your accident with you, I expect. It was a big thing at the time. I'm really glad you told me about it before. I mean, I did know about it, only I didn't like to bring it up. It's not put you off, is it, what I told you? Why would it? It's just... you've gone a bit funny. Well, it's, uh, it's getting late, you know. Oh, right, yeah. I've got to go. I've got work in the morning anyway. I'll get you a taxi. No, well, no, honestly, I'm fine. Thanks very much for coming. Yeah, it's been lovely. I hope we can do it again soon. Mm. I'm really glad I told you all that, Jim. Look forward to the next time, eh? Hi, me too. Night, Jim. Good night, Gwen.